All right, well, I got another business simulation type of uh, simulation to, you know, look at. Free Enterprise, and just ignore that for now. So this is a game that is basically about all managing a business and all that. Um, you essentially, like, you know, choose a place to, like, you know, start up a business, like looking for, like, rent and salary and stuff like that, um, size of population. And you're basically just trying to, uh, um, you know, do well, accomplish objectives, make money, be successful, basically. All right, um, where do I want to start off with? Basically, you're looking up here for, like, you know, what the metro, what the toll is like around. So if I look at Seattle here, they've basically got a metro of, like, 500,000 people. they got a total of almost 3 million. The rent is basically 55 square um, per square feet. Salary is basically that much people would expect. You're basically looking for, like, you know, lower rent, lower salary, um, and fairly good populations, basically. Now, this is all random, so you'll find, like, you know, you'll have, like, higher, like, you know, um, rents or salary something in one game session and lower a little bit next. And I think it was like down here, Jacksonville they had pretty low. I might go to Jacksonville. They got a couple of things I can make there. Plastic case, steel case. Those are usually good to start off with. I won't do this too long, but I just want to like, you know, look for Possibly some other places. Houston's not that bad. They got plastic case, steel case. They also have um, uh, a much lar larger po population in Jacksonville here. All right, let's go to um, Houston, maybe, I guess. All right, in this screen, basically, um, you have like a list of like all the places around. You can see like who's producing who and uh, who's producing what and like what like you know properties are for sale. So if I go here, I look at um, uh, I guess we'll look at products. Who might be producing plastic cases? So these guys are guys who produce plastic cases in the in the area. They're like right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. If I go steel case, you'll basically get. Um, you know, the people making steel cases. So those guys produce steel cases, these guys here. I might go for steel cases. Um, who actually buys this stuff? So consumption. All these people want uh, plastic cases, so there's actually a really good market for the, for the plastic case. And then steel, you know, it's a little bit less, but there's less people producing it, so... What to say about that? I might go for plastic because it looks like there's actually a lot more people looking for it, and there's like only like you know one, two, three, four, five, six here who basically want to buy it. All right, so we'll maybe make some plastic cases. Now, if I need to, I can like go up and like you know just click here. I'll basically sell, tell me like what the what what like the best markets are. So I can go to like to um, let's see refrigerator. That would be in like the kitchen probably, or maybe appliance. Yeah, there we go, a refrigerator. Refrigerator is basically production. It doesn't look like anyone's producing refrigerators. So I can actually make refrigerators if I, if I want to go for that type of thing. Um, I go for a printer circuit or um, this thing right here. Where would those be? Uh, right there in uh, electronics. So integrated and printed. If I go for printed here, these guys are basically going for the printed um, stuff right here, and it looks like those guys down here are basically trying to buy it. So a few people down here buying it. Um, I go for integrated. Who's making this? Those guys are making that. Those guys are basically buying it. All right. I think we'll keep it uh, simple for now, though. And we'll go for cases because that's, that's usually what I go with because they're you know cheaper to basically start up and pretty simple on that. So these guys making steel, those guys are trying to buy it. And there's plastic here. Those guys are doing that. Those guys. Yeah, by the way, you want to look out for materials, because basically if your materials are really, really far away, you'll have, you know, much longer, longer time basically making this stuff. I 
I might go down in this direction for like materials, perhaps. If I go for that type of thing, or I go to steel case here. So yeah, basically, you know, these guys are like making the same thing more or less, so. Right in this direction, I guess. All right, let's look down for a place over in this like uh, general area, I guess. We'll look for somewhere small to start off with, so. Um, these great buildings are ones you can buy. So there's basically a small place to, you know, there you can see like the um, the rent I have to pay per month, the square feet cost of it. You want to have basically a place that has very low, um, uh, you know, square dollars per square foot and like real rent, so you're not paying like you're too much for rent. So you don't wanna, also don't want to have like, like a big size place for you right away either if like you know you can't really afford it. So let's see here. That place maybe. Might even go right down there, but that's like right at the border, so. Yeah, you see like the price, as like the size goes up, the, uh, per, the cost per square foot goes down. That's basically, you know, basic economics. But... You can't really afford those places, you know, early on, so. I might go with um, this place right here. Maybe I'll select that place. And then here we can, like, you know, um, customize, like, how we're basically going to start up here. So let's go with mail here. Um, I'll be Davian Kuxa. And if I want to, I could be female. But we'll be male. Um, we'll call this uh, Pizza Corp. And basically, you can like select your funding source. So I could go with like inheritance, which basically um, your great aunt Nella has left you a sizable uh, uh, bad money. You could go with stuff like great uncle Bob here. You must achieve a milestone of 500 uh, until revenue by the end of your uh, second year, or you must uh, pay re uh, set, uh, the estate tax on the inheritance. So. It basically, um, this is like, you know, uh, a very easy, you know, low money, but you'll basically get through and all that stuff. You can turn off, like, reality modes and stuff, like, here for, like, you know, stuff. You have, like, a postal mode and other stuff. Um, you also start with, like, loans and capital, by the way. But let's go with inheritance, because that's, like, the easiest thing to go with, I think. So let's just start our game right here. Now, basically on this map, you have, like, an overlay of, um, uh, you're basically, like, you know, uh, you know, your general factory floor. This is a game like where you manage, manage your factories, if, if you haven't already caught on to that. So, essentially what um, I want to do here, I want to basically make like a steel ma um, machine or a plastic case machine to start off with. If I want to, I can like click in here and get diagrams of what they basically use. So, basically for a plastic case, they need to have plastic, um, nickel apparently, and like a, a very output like a plastic case. I need copper. So plastic, nickel, and copper for like you know making the plastic case. If I go to like the um, steel case machine, I'll basically say silver, steel, and lithium. Maybe we'll go for plastic case machine for now, because you know, as I said, that's like the basic starting stuff. We'll place this, and let's see. You also, if you want to, you can, like go like details and um, this other stuff. I want to. Let's go with like rotating this stuff. I guess like this. Hmm, how do I want to place it, basically? Essentially how it works is you're going to have, like, a guy operating this machine, so if I place I'll note that there's no sounds in this game, so my uh, headset just turned off there for a moment, but anyways, you can rotate this around to basically, like, place it, and, um, well, let's just see here. I might just place it like this, um, just so you can sort of see the operator, maybe. 
I suppose saying the operator isn't really um, as important as seeing it load. So we're going to do it like this. You can see like the circuit output and maybe see the guys placing it. So we'll do that. We'll go place a plastic machine somewhere over in this area. Let's put it maybe right there. So there's a plastic machine. Essentially, guys will come in. They'll basically like, you know, operate this machine. I'll have to hire him for it, but whatever. Uh, let's put that down for now. And basically, you can see bill of sale. So, cash available. I just purchased this thing, so we'll purchase all. Um, I also have to purchase some other stuff as well. So, let's go to like uh, office here. We'll buy, buy some offices because I'll need those. Not a whole lot of offices, mind you, but it's enough. So, we'll go with like um, an office right there. I actually don't want that right there. Like that. We'll go like this. To start off with, I think you only need like a few offices, but... We'll put down... That may for now. I'll see how I basically purchased all this stuff, so purchase it all. If I want to, I can move this stuff, so we're just going to move like this maybe um, down there. And down there. So basically now I've got like six offices sitting right here. Um, eventually I'm going to have to like worry about um, uh, guys who smoke, because you know, I'll note that this is like an older game, and of course smoking is like a thing that you know people do back in the olden days in their offices, inside their workplaces. So you actually have um, uh, equipment here. You have uh, like smoking zones, where basically a place for your smoking employers to smoke. And yeah, it's not exactly um, something that happens these days anymore, but whatever. There's like a smoking zone right there. Let's place, um, I don't know, one right there. There's a couple smoking zones for people to smoke, that's fine. Let's uh, maybe go get a couple uh, safety zones. You need like these, basically warn some floors that may be sucked into machinery and, and be hideously mangled if they stand here. So we're just going to put this stuff around. Uh, basically, uh, you put that around so that basically your employees know you, you got to be careful around there or they may get killed and all that. Sort of important, safe, safety zones and stuff like that. Um, I'll get a handcart. I don't think I really need a forklift, but a handcart will be useful for like just moving stuff around. And um, we'll buy all that stuff. All right, so basically, like, there's like a basic, basic set for a floor factory plan. I got one machine here. Got some offices for people to be hired. We're gonna hire some personnel. So basically, you're gonna need to like, you know, have like all like different uh, parts of, like your um, uh, thing managed. Now, note there's like there was a tutorial for this game, but it's not really working. So um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna get everything here right, but. Um, you'll need like a controller to basically help with like overseeing like cash flow and stuff like that. So we'll place an ad for them. And there's like a, you know, you probably just heard that sound effect. Basically there is some sound effects in this game. So I have one resume and basket for a controller. Uh, a sales manager. Overseas sales operation makes them faster and more efficient. A good sales manager is going to get more orders faster. Uh, sales people, that, that's important for, for later. Uh, purchasing manager. Overseas purchasing operations make them faster and more efficient. A good purchasing manager can get Inventory on these quicker and reduce the amount of wasted stock. I'll need one of those people, so we'll place an ad for a purchasing manager. Um, a marketing director, overseas marketing operators to make them faster, more efficient, a good marketing director, and get um, interest for a company's product more, um, which eventually chance to make greater sales. I need one of those people. And I'll probably will need a salesperson to basically seek out stuff if I don't have a sales manager, so we'll buy one of them. And I'll also need some like machine operators and, and maintenance engineers, so we'll look for them. Oof, I only got one, that sucks, but well. Maintenance engineer. Got two of them, apparently. And yeah, basically, these get, um, the machine operators, like, you know, a guy who like, does like the basic manual labor. Um, the maintenance um, engineer basically fixes it and stuff. So that'll be their job. Alright, excellent. I might get a. Uh, um, some of these other guys later on, but for now we don't really need them, I don't think, so we'll basically get a bunch of ads placed for those guys. 
And now you press the in basket and you have like, you know, a list of like people who um, you basically want to get employed. So of these people, the most important per person get up in line would be the machine operator because right now I need to have my stuff done. Um, on the button, if you press like the higher person, person, you can see like how much these guys would really be costing. And that guy's off wanting to have like some of the um, upper stuff apparently. That sucks, but well. So he wants, he has average physical strength, average uh, dexterity, and a competent machinery. He's 8% good fit. Um, we'll try and hire him, but I want to basically try and knock down his price a little bit. Basically he wants like 10,000 over like the average a little bit here. That's not going to fly with me, so. I'll, I'll pay him a little bit over the average, but not that much. Maybe 3,000. All right, not acceptable. Now, it, it, basically, what I'm doing here, like you can bar you're bargaining their wages, and uh, this is like something to note. Like in this game, you're not like you're hiring new people for like you know a, a dozen amount. You actually have to bargain with how much they want. It. And I can like bargain a little bit. I'll make him that much. Okay, we're just gonna say no offer to him. We're not gonna worry about uh, that guy. He's just a little bit too expensive even for a machine operator. I'll wait a day if I have to, basically, to do some stuff. So that's just is gonna happen. Uh, the salesperson, he's more middle of the road. That's not too bad. He's got very good people skills, strong planning skills, a strong aptitude for clerical duties, confidence serve, and average education. He's actually not that bad for the price he's offering. So let's just hire him. We're gonna just, um, he wants a little bit more than like the average, but I'm, I don't mind that. Let's make the offer. Now, if you just do like that, like make the offer and like to say I'll hire for you for this, they'll usually just come on immediately, so you don't have to like bargain with them, which is great. Uh, the controller. The controller is like your accountant. He does all the account stuff. Um, he's an on Mac hire. I don't really care. You know what? We're actually gonna bump up his sales a little bit. That's like really, really low. I'll bump it up a little bit because that's really, really low. And he's actually pretty competent for I think for, for um, you know position. All right, we got a couple of uh, maintenance engineers. This guy's only got rudimentary math skills, um, good logic skills. Well educated, competent machinery, average dexterity. And we got this guy's competent machinery, has good math skills, somewhat logical, competent of computers, and average physical skill. Alright, um It looks like they're both, you know, more or less uh what I need. So this guy's got only rudimentary math skills and this guy's got competent math uh, um good math skills and everything else. Alright, what we're going to do, I think, we'll um, try and hire this guy, but we're going to try and get a little bit less, I think, or... Well, actually, apparently it says, like, you know, the um, average is actually lower. Oh, why not? We'll make the offer. So we'll get that guy. We don't really need this guy, so let's trash his uh, thing. Alright, we've got purchasing manager here. He has uh, rudimentary people skills, um, average playing skills... An average education, some sort of conversational. Not that bad, I guess. We'll hire him if possible. He wants um generally a little bit less. So okay, we'll make that offer. And a marketing director. Oof, he's he's he wants a high end here. And he's got very weak accounting skills. He's got very poor playing skills, a strong aptitude for clerical duties, an excellent communicate. No, it's trash. If it's really, really bad, I'm not going to worry about it, so... Um, let's just maybe go place an ad for a marketer, marketing, um, marketeer guy. A couple guys popped in, that's good. Okay, these guys... Um, well, this guy's like... Um, probably very good looking. Very good people skills, average playing skills, strong accounting skills, and excellent communication skills, and somewhat assertive. And we got this guy's very weak accounting skills, very poor playing skills, somewhat assertive, strong ability for clerical duties, as excellent communication skills. Um, trash. We'll try and get this guy, and because he's so low, I'm just gonna hire him right outright. So, actually, we'll actually bump up his thing again. I mean, if it's too low, I'm gonna bump it up. These guys will complain about low uh, um, wages if, like, you know, you let them. So, don't want doing that. Let's just have. Uh, let's see here. Let's just get these guys doing some stuff. So, we're gonna need to have the controller in office. So, we'll place him and this one right here. Easily like my manager stuff over here, and we'll have a maintenance engineer. He'll have to do some, uh, you know, maintenance and stuff for stuff. 
So we'll have him right there. And just because I don't have a whole lot of people working this machine, I'm just going to have him operate it too as well, just for a little bit. Eventually I'll have someone else do the operation, but he can fill in for now. Let's have um, the marketer. He can be right there. I'll have the salesperson be right next to him. And I'll have a purchasing manager right here. And then I'll be like this, like, you know, working machine for now. Which is fine. Eventually I'll, I'll sit in an office all day, but for now I'll basically wor worry about um, this, you know, working machines and stuff. All right, so we have everyone basically, you know, set to go. I could try and hire some more people, possibly of, like, you know, different types. But I don't think we really need anything else at this point, so... Let's just start the day and we'll uh, go from there. Alright, so turn length will be one day, that's fine. Start. So basically I start the day and you have like an overview of what's going on. You can see the workers doing their stuff, so we got this guy popping in. So we got the maintenance engineer is already in the break room in here, he's basically, you know... I think the, the start of the day is like 8am, so one guy came early, that's fine. You know, people can sometimes come early and that works for me. And if I want to, I can speed up time here a little bit so we can get, maybe get to 8 o'clock. So let's go to um, every minute for now just so we can get up to 8 a.m. Because, you know, people arrived early. Well, this guy arrived early. Yeah, I arrived early. Apparently, the maintenance engineer beat me to um, the work. That's fine, I guess. All right, that should be uh, good enough for now. So we can always see a few people working at their desk. So we got, like, this guy right here. Um, we got a marketer basically doing his marketing stuff. We got the uh, salesperson doing sales stuff. The controller's doing controller stuff. The person um, uh, manager's doing the same, you know, same stuff. Now note that um, I actually bought these offices like the best type you can buy. I don't know like what offices really do in terms of like you know how efficient to make sure guys or not, but I just bought the best ones, you know, because why not? I might as well buy the best ones. Never really understood the purpose of having like you know uh, the offices be upgradable and stuff like that, but whatever. Now a little bit up here, by the way, just like the break room up here. So essentially, what's happening right now? I'm in a break room, and the maintenance engineer is in a break room for a simple reason that there's no stuff here to basically like deal with. What I'll basically need, I'll need like the purchasing agent to like you know purchase some stuff. Hopefully, he'll purchase some stuff, and then basically from there we'll um, start you know doing other stuff as well. I think the, the, pers the person guy here can do stuff. Hopefully. I may have, uh, like, you know, done this a little bit wrong. We'll see. If you, like, if you, like, set this up properly, then your guys won't really get any work done, and then, you know, nothing will happen. Now, no problem, if I really want to, I can hit, like, this, like, every 10 minutes, and now, like, you know... Skip the, the entire day pretty much. So it looks like no one was actually... Okay, there's the stuff. Eventually it came in there at some point. And then it started letting load and stuff like that. That's fine. So maybe I skipped it a little bit too quick there. That's fine. We'll uh, you know, basically just jump back into this in a moment. So let's um, hire some more personnel. I need to get like some more uh, people doing stuff over here. So... I need to get some more machine operators. Oh, good, we got two resumes this time around. That's excellent. All right, let's uh, see who I got. So we got one guy who wants 40,000. That guy's like an automatic hire, I guess. So competent machinery, average dexterity, and average physical strength. He is wanting. I really hate how his like headphone keeps dropping off like that. But this is this is a type of game that you know doesn't have any like you know. Uh, music or anything, so my headset is saying not detecting anything. Now this guy wants less than you know. We'll actually bump it up a little bit. This guy, so twenty-five thousand. So there as we go. We are our first machinery operator. This guy is good uh, dexterity, competent machinery, and average physical strength, but he's offer uh, wanting basically way too much. Um, if you don't want like at least the average rate, I'm not going to bother with you. I don't think. Wow. 
make offer? Well, we're not going to work with him then. He's just, you know, that guy was too costly. Alright, so, um, now I basically have, like, this machine operator, I can basically have him, uh, help out with, like, stuff over here, so, we'll have him do, like, the loading and stuff, and then, I can do unloading and other stuff as well, so I can basically, like, you know, um, I'm going to sell myself from this. And just because I also want to be able to do, do uh, you know, have an office at some point, we'll um, put myself in the office so I can help with that sort of thing. Basically, the um, president of the company, he can do all the, all different tasks like that you need to do. So, your president is the guy who is basically capable of doing stuff. Like, all this stuff. Yeah, if you look at, like, the basic office here, so, um, this thing is basically 3,000 more for, like, 50% more efficiency. I think it's probably worth it to have this other thing because, like, it's like you know, base cost of a thing. So, I'll place one of these right there. I'll place one of these right there. I'm actually missing a couple of think people. I think if I need, if I uh, recall correctly, I didn't get myself a marketing director. So. I want to keep looking for a marketing director at some point. I do have a market, marketer and a sales um, salesperson though, so I may like hold off and gain them. But the nice thing about like you know some of these guys that you have like the management guys, they can send you memos. So if like if I look at this like you, you can get like memos in your basket every so often, and, and our management is the one who like does this stuff for you. So let's look for a sales manager and a marketing manager basically to help myself out here. So oh, we got two marketing directors. That's nice. All right, so I need to get. Let's make sure I'm not hiring someone I don't need, right? I got controller and personal manager. Yeah, you need need, need here too. All right, so we basically got ourselves two marketing directors that pop, popped in. Um, they both have. Wow, this guy is a better uh, uh, fit apparently. So satisfactory accounting skills, very good people skills, hours planning skills, has strong aptitude for clerical duties and conversational. And this guy wants more. And. Um, we'll hire this guy, I think. And he actually wants like uh, less, so we'll make that offer right outright, so he can be trashed. The sales manager, he wants um, actually around like what the city's you know wanting. That's not too bad. This guy's room area people skills, average playing skills, uh, conversational, good clerical skills, average education. I don't like the fact that he's only got rudimentary people skills for a sales manager, because the sales manager doesn't need to talk to people. Um, well, why not? I don't mind getting him, I guess. Let's see if I can knock down his, his salary to, like, you know, the C average or so. Yeah, we'll get that at least. Okay, you can go... Right there, and we'll put down the sales manager right here. All right, so that's some basic stuff done. Uh, if I look over here, by the way, you can basically see like you know what's in like the pallets. So I got like you know as you can see, nickel, copper, and plastic right there. I've also got the plastic case, which is basically finished goods. So these like um, pallets are basically where like you store your stuff. Eventually, you'll have more pallets for stuff, but um, that'll happen later. Yeah, I can actually set to, like these to be for different stuff, by the way. Now, for now, let's just see how this goes, and we'll let's go from there. So, we'll start up in our day. By the way. If you're playing like a, a, this game on like an RNA computer, set this down from every 10 minutes or else it'll go like really, really quick like that. All right, let's just see what I got for like, you know, this stuff here. So I got a memo from David Tuxa. Manufacturing has too much work to do. We need to hire more workers. All right, so there's like a memo that popped up. Um, I need to basically get um, more workers is the thing. So I need to get more machine operators. I only got one again. That sucks, but whatever.
All right, let's see what the uh, guy wants. Basically, he is very comfortable with machinery. He has average physical strength and average dexterity. He wants much higher than like you know the usual amount, but oh, maybe he's worth it. Let's try knocking him down to thirty-six thousand. There we go. That's good enough for me, I guess. All right, so right now we basically have one guy doing loading, one guy doing operating, and I'm doing the unload. Let's try and have um. I don't want to be doing any of that type of stuff right over there, so let's just have if I can the new guy will be doing um, loading and like, uh, you know, that stuff. So, one, two, three, four. Basically now I've got like, you know, the machine operators working machine a lot more, so that'll hopefully help out a little bit. Um, if you look at these guys, basically, you'll see this machine, you can, like, you can glance to see what its capacities are. So right now it's basically got good, like, you know, inputs and stuff like that. It's mostly a case of like its output, so I need to get more outputs from it. And something I might want to consider doing is buying a form at some point to basically, you know, get these guys doing stuff. Foreman's are like your, your four supervisors to basically do like, you know, what you expect them to do. Anyways, let's just start this day up and we'll see how it goes. Alright, I'll set this to be um, every minute for now. People talking and stuff like that. All right, there we go. It's eight o'clock. Everyone should be here more or less. So you can see like what's going on over here. You got like this. Um, uh, I guess let's look at the machine operator basically doing like the uh, fixing for stuff. He'll do that every so often. Yeah, so that's Glenn right there. He's basically doing the maintenance. I think I still have, like, you know, a dedicated person for doing operating as well, but whatever. Alright, there we go. Now the, the maintenance engineer is basically doing the actual operating, or he was doing the actual operating, I guess. I wonder who's operating this thing. But whatever. Basically, like, that, that's, like, the general idea. Like, you know, you're managing a business, and everyone's working. It's basically trying to prove a profit. Alright, let's just see if we can go back um, through in our day and we'll get to, like someone actually, uh, you know, intended to operate this thing to actually do the operating, so... Congratulations, your business earned its first dollar. May many millions more follow the, the first. Yay, money! I like earning money. Alright, let's see here. I want to hire more machine operators, so... Yes, we got two, finally. Alright, let's uh, see what these guys want, so... You're very comfortable with machinery, average dexterity, physical strength, uh, has above a average physical strength, comfort with machinery, and average dexterity. Now, nice something to know about these guys, if you have like average physical strength, you can carry stuff a lot easier, so that's a good thing. But, let's try and knock this guy down like, a little bit. I don't want to overpay these guys. That's not acceptable, apparently. Alright, we'll go 36,000. Uh, sometimes if you try and do this, you can like offer like you know what they want, but he's not really interested in your coming. So that basically happened. So, oh well, nothing to do about that guy. We're just gonna hire this guy outright, and we're basically gonna get the guy who's doing the operating off it. So he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. And I'll get the new guy basically doing like the operation of the machine. So, place. Now, I'll note by if you look at these guys' personnel here, you can see like their stress levels and stuff like that. This is a game where you have to manage stress of your employees, because if they basically get too stressed out, they'll actually go postal. As in, actual postal, like, take a gun and start boom, um, going boom, boom, boom on people in the game. Which is not good, obviously. 
So you want mathematics just where you can. And well, let's go from there. Now note that this is a game that every 10 minutes um, in like the, uh, in the olden days would be like you know every 10 minutes in gameplay, but for some reason it's not like that in this game. You know at this point of time, basically I don't know why, but whatever. All right, so we'll put that to normal. So right now we basically got the maintenance engineer doing the maintenance stuff. We got other people doing stuff. Looks like they're making like plastic outputs now, which is nice. The efficiency is kind of low. You want to get that efficiency up to a much higher, like you know, amount, but whatever. You know, think about it, I probably have too many like people um, loading because I got the capacities all the way up to like the maximum here. Might be a better idea to have that reversed to some of those things, but whatever. There we go. They're going to go back to work. Those machine, machine operators. And that's basically what they're doing early. Loading stuff, they're putting it in. The maintenance offer is like fixing the stuff. And I guess like, you know, they, they can't do anything because like, you know, the thing is full. So they can't like put more stuff into it. All right, well, that's worth knowing. I'll basically have to get these like machine operators more stuff to do, I guess. People smoking. By the way, you have like conference rooms and people will take conferences every so often. So we got the, you know, the president, the controller and the person agent all in the conference room here. These guys are busy doing their stuff. Put that to normal. No memos today, apparently. Okay. All right. Well, let's see here. I've got to basically, you know, set this to be a little bit different to stuff here. So you're doing load, 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 unload, and that seems to be fine for now. Let's actually try and get the um, other one like you. Let's have you. I'm going to sign for all this stuff. I'm just going to have you basically help with operating the thing when you get a chance. And hopefully that will mean like, you know, she'll basically do like, you know, the operations easily enough. When like the other guys on break. Maybe. We'll see how that works. That's what this game is basically all about. Now, I mean, like, it's not like, you know, too glamorous about this game. I mean, it is what it is. It's a glorified, like, you know, business simulator. But, you know, this is the type of thing that, like, it's really interesting. Like, when you, like, I want to operate, like, uh, you know, a company and stuff like that. Now, this forklift right here is basically from loading, you know, loading docking stuff. Oh, look at that, we're actually doing, taking stuff out. So, good job. I probably, ha I probably have too many workers as a thing here. I probably don't need to have more than like two workers and that'll be it for this stuff. What I might do is I might uh, bit like a steel like you know case machine and try like doing my uh, my hand at that because I do probably have room for it. I'll try making both plastic and steel case stuff. You can actually like you know multitask and do like different things in your factory if you want to. So maybe I'll do that. Oh look at this! All right, so we got memo. Um, a few people are complaining of low pay. Alright, so that apparently happened, but you know, 
I actually have been giving my guys decent enough pay anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. Cash flow. We currently have a positive projected cash flow and cash assets of uh, this much. Good. So I'm making money. Let's uh, get more casing stuff going. So we're going to get ourselves a steel case machine, maybe. Now, I'll note, but if you want to, you can make like an air plastic case machine. And um, that could be worth doing. Might actually be worth doing this because I got the product for it too. So maybe I'll place another one of these down. And let's see here. Got a control station like that. If I do it like this, you'll be able to see like what the guy's doing. So I'm going to place it like this, I guess. And then we'll go equipment. We'll put down safety zones. We'll put those down like that. All right, well, let's just go with that for now. We'll purchase this plastic case machine. Now we're going to get our personnel to do a little bit more work on this stuff. So let's have um, your operating, your operating. You're actually going to go there. Whoops. On a sign, on a sign. There. Now, that reminds me, I have to get my machine engineer to do both these now, so you can operate them. Basically, I'll uh, have him dual task for like operating both these things as he needs to, which is fine. And we'll have the other one basically do loading for both these things now, so. So basically do all the loading and like unloading for everything, basically. Which is fine. We'll see how that goes. So we'll just go with um, making sure it's on normal because we want to see what the hell we're doing. Now, I mean, like, it's not it's not important basically in this game really to um, watch what your workers are doing, but it can be nice just to see what they're doing. Is like you know, if you want to do that type of thing. Especially if you go postal, you want to see them going coastal. Do, 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 do. That main software seems to um, stick around with that one most of the time. So I actually wonder if like any two ma uh, main software operator for each machine at this point, but whatever. All right, so there we go. We're making like you know stuff on both these now. I need to get more plastic inputs from like you know stuff to do stuff, but whatever. There's some plastic good cases, goods that are already done. That's nice. And of course, my thing went off because you know. That's just like going off constantly. Let's just fast forward to ten to uh, you know ten ten a.m. for now and see what it's, what it's like, like at that point. Some, made some money. That's always good. Apparently I had some plastics delivered. That's always good. So there we go. We got some plastic uh, input right there and our stuff. We're, we're uh, raising our efficiency by quite a bit as you can see. So efficiency 4%. Awesome. You still can't really see the operator, but whatever. I'll place down some steel machinery or, or machinery or something, perhaps next.
I have to say, wow, I've got quite a bit of plastic case here to sell off. That's good. I hear the question, where's my maintenance engineer? Is he actually on this one now? He might actually be doing his job on the other one now. It'd be nice if like, there's like, a feature to like, you know, uh, rotate the camera or stuff like that, but I don't think there really is, so... Oh look at that, we're selling off our plastic cases. That'll be cool. Plastic cases will get sold and make some money. Okay, so there's all my machine operators over there. And then there's this guy over here. Well, I seem to be doing pretty good. Let's just fast forward this one, I guess. Now, if I want to, I can look at like my other stuff. I can see like, my general information here. Yep, there's uh, sound effects as soon as you open stuff like that, of course. All right, so there's like the general information. I got the balance sheet here, so you can see what this looks like. Um, profit and loss is probably a major one I'm looking for here, so I can see what I'm doing. So, plastic case sales, there's basically what I've basically sold. Um, rent, there's like the rent I basically need to get this month to basically, you know, pay that off. And I'll eventually have to pay off my personnel too at some point as well. Inventory, purchases, rent, total expenses. Profit or loss. There's like a, there's like a massive loss for now because that's basically how much I've been spending. All right. Well, um, you basically have the basic idea what this game's all about. Let's actually end it here. For the most part, this is like a game that I played back in the day as a kid, like, you know, just sort of like, you know, to have like the, the feeling of using this. I never actually really uh, managed to get it going that well, but you get the idea what the game's like pretty much all about, I think. I can retire if I want to, so. See what the score is like and all that. Alright, well, basically that's, a, that's that game. You basically got to see what it's all about. Hope you guys enjoy it, so take care.